It's game week three for the Premier League predictor and it's been an interesting game week to say the least. I haven't got my Man United top on today, let's put it that way. This is the series where we predict the Premier League scores for each game week. We go up against each other. Let's see how I got on first and then we'll see what your results were. On the screen now is a reminder of the rules for this series. If you need to get yourself up to date on them, pause the video now and check them out. So here we are for game week two my results so in the first game between Villa and Everton I got that completely wrong didn't get the result at all it was an Aston Villa win in the end remember I get a point for a correct result and five points for a correct score in the game between Arsenal and Leicester I got the result correct but I was a couple of goals off so I get a point there which is nice Brighton versus Newcastle again I got the result correct but there was no goals in that game in the end Man City all I needed to do was have a bit more faith in City and just predict one more goal for them. I would have got a perfect score. Uh, for Southampton versus Leeds, it was 2-2 in the end. So I got nothing for that one. I actually got the result between Wolves and Fulham 100% correct. Which not many people guessed this weekend. Which was pretty good going for me. Uh, Brentford versus Manchester United. Uh, we're not going to talk about that one. But it's safe to say I didn't predict it correctly. Nottingham Forest versus West Ham was actually a win for Forest. So the complete opposite of what I predicted. Uh, Chelsea and Tottenham ended 2-2 in the end. And I, I, I wanted Tottenham to pip it at 3-2. And then Liverpool got held to a draw by Crystal Palace. So I got no score there. My game week total is 8 points. 3 correct results. And 1 correct scoreline. Equaling 8 points. My season total goes up to 17. Let's see how you guys did in game week 2. Well I thought I'd had a stinker in game week 2. It turns Turns out everyone did. Jossel, Wilf and myself take first, second and third in this game week with eight points each. All of us having one correct score and three correct results. Hugo got six points, Stuyven four points. Ben, massive improvement from being bottom of the table. He actually got seven points and narrowly missed off on the top three. And Finch, you joined us this week and you managed to get five points in total. Remember guys, if you want a chance to feature on this leaderboard next week and you know, brag amongst the community that you've got the best ball knowledge. Make sure you're putting all of your predicted scores in the comments right now before the game week starts. The first game is between Tottenham and Wolves tomorrow at 12.30. So you've got plenty of time to get the predictions in this week. Oh, speaking of predictions, here we are with game week three predictions. Remember to get yours in the comments right now to be involved. So... Who do I think is going to win in the first game? 12.30 kickoff on Saturday between Tottenham and Wolves. Well, for me, uh, Wolves don't have a chance in my opinion. Tottenham's squad is just so good this season. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Spurs. I think that it's going to be pretty straightforward for Spurs. The attacking power that they've got, Kulusevski, is that how you say his name? He's firing on all cylinders at the moment. Add in Harry Kane and Son, and you've got the absolute dream front three in the Premier League right now. I think that they're, they're just going to be too much for Wolves. 2-0 to me. 2-0 to me. Apparently, I play for Spurs now. Next up, we have Crystal Palace versus Villa. Crystal Palace, obviously, are going to be on a bit of a high after Monday's result against Liverpool. And Aston Villa also on a high because they won in the last game week. I think this is going to be a close one. I think both teams are equally kind of bottom half teams this season. I'm going to go for 2-2. There's going to be some goals. We're going for 2-2 between Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. I think that Crystal Palace is slowly looking like they're getting over their stupidly awful preseason. And that result against Liverpool was just so well done. I think that they obviously got in the head of Nunes and caused him to have a little bit of a little bit of a kick off. But that that definitely helped. But it wasn't the only thing that got Crystal Palace over the line in that game. Up against Villa, I think they'll put a couple of goals away and get themselves a draw. Next up, we have Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest got a, a mental win up against West Ham. A 1-0 win there was incredible for them. Um, as for Everton losing to Aston Villa, that is kind of a, the, the correct kind of clash between those teams. They're going to end up around the same position in the league this year. 
Uh, potentially Everton a little bit lower. I think Forest are going to win this one. I think the Forest are going to have a very strong start to the season. They're going to be that team that are in like the top six after 10 match weeks or whatever and then slowly start to decline as the season goes on. But I think they're going to have a strong start. I'm going to go for a wing for Nottingham Forest. What do I think the score is going to be though? I don't think they're going to thrash Everton by any stretch of the imagination. We're going to go for a 1-0 win. They're going to repeat the scoreline of Sunday against West Ham and get themselves a 1-0 win. Brentford have got a much harder challenge this week where they go up against Fulham. Um, they thrash Man United at the weekend. I don't want to talk about it too much because I'm still struggling to come to terms with it, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, they, they just walked through Man United like they weren't even there, Brentford. Fulham, I think, are probably going to struggle in this game. I know they managed to get a point last weekend, but I think they're probably going to end up towards the bottom of the table, let's face it. If you want to see my full Premier League predictions, I've done a video on it where we predict the end table for this season. Go and check it out um, on the channel. I think that Brentford are probably going to walk this one. I'm going to go for a pretty comfortable win of 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. They're not going to concede the goal against Fulham, I don't think. Leicester versus Southampton. Southampton got a decent result up against Leeds at the weekend. A point that could actually be very valuable come the end of this season. Leicester, obviously, they, they struggled against Arsenal. But I think any team would struggle against Arsenal right now. Arsenal are arguably favourites to challenge for the title. Early doors, potentially. Who knows? Um... I think this will probably be a pretty even game. I think both teams are around the same level at this point in the season. Southampton will struggle more so towards the end of the season, in my opinion. But for now, they're pretty evenly matched. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, I think, between these two. I think it's going to be a, a tough game. I think there'll be a couple of goals. But at the end of the day, I think Southampton will grind out a decent result. Next up, we have Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Now, for me, this is only going to go one way. Arsenal look incredible right now. If there's a team that are impressing, it's Arsenal. If there's a player that's impressing, it's Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal well above any other team in the Premier League alongside Man City at the moment in my opinion. So I think it's going to be a convincing win. I'm actually going to go pretty big against Bournemouth. I think Arsenal are going to put on a bit of a show. I'm going to go for 5-1. Arsenal scoring for fun. Bournemouth might get a little goal on the break. But I think that Arsenal are going to convincingly win. So it's 5-1 to me. And now I've transferred from Spurs to Arsenal. God, people are going to hate me. Why can't I not get my words out today? Mental. <laughs> people wondering. I keep saying like 5-1 to me instead of 1-5-1 to Arsenal. I don't know what I'm doing. Next up, we've got Chelsea versus Leeds. We had some interesting results for these two at the weekend. Uh, both getting 2-2 draws. Now, in my opinion... Chelsea did well to get a 2-2 draw up against Spurs. I think Spurs are the much better side in that case. Leeds probably should have done better against Southampton, but maybe it says a bit more about what we can expect from Leeds this season. For me, I think Chelsea probably do win this game. It's going to be tight, but I think Chelsea will win. They've just got a better squad than Leeds in general. And with the five substitution rule that's been brought in this season, I'll probably keep repeating myself a lot with this. It does have a massive impact on teams that don't have the squad depth of others. Chelsea have the squad depth. Therefore, I think they'll probably get a result out of Leeds here. I'm going to go for 2-1. So 2-1 to Chelsea away from home. Next up, we have West Ham versus Brighton. This is a very interesting game indeed. Brighton drew up against Newcastle last week and West Ham dropped points in their last game. So it's going to be interesting. I think these two are probably going to finish pretty close to each other in the table. Um, Brighton are going to be a mid-table team. West Ham are going to be a little bit above mid-table in my opinion. I think this will be a very close game. You know what? We say there's a board draw every week. I think this is going to be it. This is going to be the board draw for me. Nil-nil between West Ham and Brighton. Very hard-fought game, but Brighton are just so organised. Such an organised team and are going to cause all sorts of problems for West Ham. West Ham have still got the power to keep them out, but I don't think they've got the power going forward to get any goals in this one. So nil-nil for me. Next up, we have Newcastle versus Manchester City. So Newcastle, they did draw against Brighton last week which is probably a better result than it looks Brighton coming out of the starting blocks firing on all cylinders uh, in the Premier League this year and uh, obviously a very organized team and very decent indeed so for Newcastle to get the draw there it's actually not as bad as it maybe looks for Newcastle fans 
Um, coming up against Manchester City, though, they're coming up against a completely different beast, in my opinion. This team are levels above anyone else in the Premier League, apart from Arsenal, um, and definitely levels above Newcastle. So for me, it's going to be a Man City win. I'm going to go for a 3-1. I think Newcastle will get themselves a goal, but I think that the power of Manchester City is front three, front, front six front 11 frankly uh, will be too much for Newcastle to handle so 3-1 to City. The final game of this week is Manchester United versus Liverpool on Monday Night Football this is <laughs> this is going to be fun isn't it United fans? I think not I think I'm going to have a pretty depressing evening on Monday uh, I, I have a friend coming around Ben who's taken part in this series actually he, uh, he supports Liverpool. Uh, he's going to have a much more enjoyable evening than I will, in my opinion. But so, <laughs> but what's the score going to be? Flipping God knows, frankly. Depends what United turn up. Do we have the United of pre-season that were looking semi-decent? Or do we have the United over the last two weeks who have been pummeled by two teams they really should be beating? Manchester United, by the way, if they don't score a goal in this game will have to put an own goal as their goal of the month. Because the only goal we've scored in the Premier League so far was an own goal. So, there's it, quite a lot riding on this. <laughs> um, will we leave the bottom of the table? Oh, I don't know. I did Super 6 earlier today. And I predicted a 1-1 draw here. I think I was being a bit stupid. They don't have Darwin Nunez, of course, because he is out with a red card. Do I think United have really got anything, though, to take on this Liverpool team? Super 6 I've gone for solely because if it does happen, I'll be one of the only people in the world that actually predicted it and might win a big bit of money. The, the realistic part of me is saying Liverpool will win this. And this community clash we have here on the Premier League predictor means a lot more to me than some money off Sky, Sky Super 6. So, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Liverpool. I don't think we score. And the meme is that goal of the month for Manchester United is an own goal by a Brighton player. So, yeah, 3-0 for me. Liverpool are just too strong. They're too good. Even with one player missing, like Darwin Nunez, who is their main striker at the moment, they've still got Bobby Firmino, who can just slot in there, and he's class. It's, it's The squad depth of Liverpool is too good for Manchester United. 3-0, and Ben will enjoy himself sat next to me. So here are the Matt Ayres predictions for game week three in the Premier League. A 2-0 win for Spurs up against Wolves. Crystal Palace to draw 2-2 at home with Aston Villa. Everton to lose 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. Fulham to lose 3-0 to Brentford. Uh, Leicester and Southampton will draw 1-1. Bournemouth are going to lose 5-1 to Arsenal at home. Leeds United to score one against Chelsea's two. West Ham and Brighton are our board draw of the week. Newcastle are going to lose to Man City 3-1. And Liverpool are going to thrash a depressing Manchester United 3-0. Remember guys, get your predictions in the comments down below to be part of the Premier League predictions competition. So that's it for this game week. Let me know if you think my predictions are any good or, think, or if you think that I'm way off with some of them. Let me know. I really enjoy this series. I'm having a really good time with it. And get, seeing so many of you guys involved in it is so much fun as well. So thank you very much for everyone that's getting involved and supporting the channel. Uh, we should hit 100 subscribers this weekend. So if you're not subscribed, please hit a sub button on the channel right now. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Why the hell did I invite Ben round to my house to watch Liverpool Man United? I must be bloody stupid.